Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com This this thing here that we're now doing is called Let Me Bore You to Sleep Only Listen or watch this session if you can safely close your eyes. And I use the word watch as well as listen there, as you may have noticed. You may be thinking, how can I watch a voice? You know. I'm supposed to be able to see the radio waves in the air. No, no. I also upload these sessions as videos on YouTube. That's why. That's what I meant. <sighs> well, that was a really interesting explanation. Mm. So, the point behind these seemingly regular sessions, recordings, talks, whatever you wish to call them, is just me talking and what you'll notice is when you listen to me every day something starts to happen And maybe you've already noticed that it happens to you. You experience a sense of tiredness when you hear my voice. It's as if the feeling that you last had, the sensation of, let's use the word boredom, that you had the last time you listened to me, maybe it was yesterday, the last time you heard my voice. last time you heard a, a let me bore you to sleep session and now it's as if this session is following on connected to that session in a way for that to happen it allows you to enjoy the background sounds of what sounds like Bigfoot opening and closing the garden gate Maybe I'm wrong, but I imagine that in my mind, I imagine Big Fur or the other 
Domino Snowman or the Easter Bunny, whatever you call him. E.T. Crocodile Dundee. Gandhi. You know, whatever you call. It's just, I imagine that Bigfoot would be rather clumsy. When walking around the garden, standing on plant pots, I don't know, just had that in my mind. We actually uh, one of my neighbours contacted the council and complained that people were walking through from the other part of the estate, the housing estate through our bit through our garden so the council put up uh, a fence and a gate and the neighbour was in the garden Bragging. I think he felt very proud. I think, I mean, the way he's talking, I think it might have been one of his main accomplishments. <laughs> he seemed very pleased. Anyway, he said, Oh, that'll, that'll now stop the all those young men and young walking through our shared garden. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm not sure if he if he did the laugh like that. But I do recall he looked up into the sky. I was waiting for him to say something else, but nothing else happened. He just looked in the sky. And I thought maybe, maybe he can see things that I can't see. He's got some kind of special powers. It turned out he had a spoke to his wife and a few months later because you know I like to keep talking about the event because it was such a such an amazing afternoon it was very sunny apparently he had a had an issue with his neck and he was trying to stretch it Anyway, he said, you, you, we can uh, stop the, we can, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm getting a dry mouth, impersonating him. I wonder if he has a dry mouth. I wonder if he dribbles when he impersonates me. And farts. Anyway, he said, Oh, that fence, that gate, uh, 
Ooh, I'll stop. Uh, I'll stop people from walking through now. I said, yeah. It will, unless. And he looked at me with a slight degree of confusion. I said. Yeah, we'll stop those walking through our garden unless unless they know how to use a gate handle. If they know how to press down on the handle of the fence gate they'll be able to open the gate and he looked at me a little bit like A little bit like you, someone would look at you. If you were in a a nuclear bunker, there'd just been a nuclear war, and you're down there with all your stocks, and you, you know you're all prepared. someone looks at you and says what do you mean you didn't pack a tin opener what are we going to do not that the someone would be that inclined to do a funny voice I suppose when but what would someone do uh, someone if you're on a mountain and if you if you was in a boat You were in a dinghy, you know, a, a life raft, and you had enough food to last you for, for as long as you needed. Unfortunately, it was tinned food, all in tins, and it was sinking the dinghy. course it would be not ideal if you had no tin opener but what if you did have a tin opener and you decided okay what do you do do you chuck the, the tin overboard or do you open the tin and eat the contents and then chucking the empty tin overboard. If you forget the 
environmental guilt that you're supposed to feel when you think of uh, knocking and putting down tins and stuff into the sea. Of course, we're talking about a, an emergency situation, not not a hobby. You know, not just rowing out to the middle of the ocean and just chucking tins, empty tins, and into the ocean laughing like a, a Bond villain none of that stuff so would you eat the contents of the tin knowing that on one side you've eaten which is what you need to do but on the other side the weight of that content apart from the the empty tin is now inside you is an example of some of the boring stories that I will be telling over time you know whenever I hear the words over time I start thinking of that Stevie Wonder song Overjoyed is uh, what over time I've been building my castle of love just for you though you never knew you were my reason I've gone much too far for you now to say Yeah, the rest of it I've gone much too far for you now to say da 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 I guess it doesn't really matter I don't know how much of this you're listening to or how much you just You know, I sometimes wonder, especially for the sleep sessions, if it wasn't for my intention just to talk and talk. and talk and talk boring conversation after boring sentence then for someone listening to this in a I don't know, maybe an interested perspective, thinking it was going to be educational or imagine how disappointed they'd be thinking it was going to be a, a really invigorating dramatic audio play person hears me talking on and on and on and And 
benefits. To be in this boring is me. Other than it's funny. People just start to glaze over when I'm talking. And because I can talk and talk and talk on <laughs> and on. And on, and on, because this is my superpower, and I can do this for hours and hours and hours. there's only four things, five things that could get in the way of this, maybe six, and let me, let me take you through all six in detail. First of all, If this recording, because I am using a digital pocket studio from Tascam, and I've just realized as I started preparing this recording 25 minutes ago wherever not wherever whenever wherever it was here in my bed but it was about 25 minutes ago and I realized Andre's been Andre's been rubbing himself over the surface of recording studio. I won't go into details but uh, I think he's been cheating on his girlfriend with my porter studio. But with the studio if it runs out of space then I wouldn't be able to record going on and on and on I think there's probably there's probably enough space, space for I'd say about 90 minutes I'm not sure never Attempted to go much over an hour. The other thing that could get in the way of me doing a session um, that just was endless is. Eating. I, I suppose I could eat at the same time as recording this, but It 
would sound like I was eating. And not everybody enjoys the sound of me eating. For example, I once had a lady on YouTube and I was recording a session and I was a little bit unwell I had a cough and I was drinking water just to keep my throat lovely and sexy and clear unlike now where it's all rough and it's a bit like an overgrown hedge I was going to say an unshaven penis but that doesn't sound right an overgrown hedge a chicken with tonsillitis you know whatever you know, I had a bit of a rough throat so I was drinking water and this lady she, she wrote a comment saying I really don't like the sound of people drinking water I assume that's what she sounds like when she talks but I can't guarantee it And I thought, well, I made a video, and it was a long video, I think it was about an hour, maybe an hour and a half even. moaning about me drinking water which even even on a good day when my throat feels like an angel's back smooth and I would still probably need to have a drink of water if I was talking for that long anyway she didn't like hearing the water being drunk in her presence well technically on video I could understand if maybe I don't know, I had a really bad cold and I was drinking water but struggling to breathe at the same time and lots of lots of green snot and bogeys were like a big snot bubble was coming out of my nose while I was trying to drink the water I could understand maybe if it was a little bit 
No such things were caught on camera. That day, and it was just me drinking water. But another thing other than running out of space or the recording studio thing and maybe needing to drink but also needing to eat you know it's not a case of just saying well I'm going to sit up in my bed for the next six hours and I'm going to drink whatever water I've got beside me and then I'll maybe eat a sandwich that I prepared earlier and it would be very uncomfortable and unwrapping the sandwiches the food would be just a little bit plastic baggy a bit just not really what I what I want for our relationship drift off into a really really deep so tired and I wonder how you're feeling feeling a real sense of calmness a real real sense of calm
this. Let me bore you to sleep. Session is coming to an end. speak to you, or should I say, I will speak at you next time.